In this video we're going to talk about how to make this sort of light fixture um, that we were looking at in class, um, how to make it uh, curve. And so if I turn this on, it's, it's not very difficult. You're going to need two planes. Um, so I'll just go ahead and <clears throat> sort of make that. I'm using Grasshopper to create it. Um, so if I zoom out a little bit, I'll come over here and just create a plane um, from two point selection and I'll just pick here and maybe I'll make this one a little square and then I'm just going to pick this guy and hold down the alt key and, and copy it up so I've got two of them right and then what I can do is I can <clears throat> warp one of them so I want to warp this bottom one so to do that I'm just going to rebuild it and give it 15 and 10 points um, and then if I select it and left click on this little show object control points, it'll show me those points. And if I come in and let me turn off my grid snap so that's not on and start pulling this, right, it's going to start warping this. Now make sure that you're only pulling it in vertical in the Z or else it's going to screw up the, um, well, you can always use the other one if you want to, but um, let's go ahead and so we'll just go ahead and warp the sky right so now if um, if I click off of it I now have this sort of warped surface and then <clears throat> I can do um, one of, of two things um, I can go ahead and let's go ahead and set this surface to that top surface right so if I go ahead and um, set one surface and pick that guy right and then let's go ahead and preview this right so you can see it's subdividing it based on these divisions um, and then what I'm going to do is set this surface to the curve surface right and so <clears throat> what that's going to do is it's going to let me go ahead and preview these guys off Right. What that's going to do, if I turn on this project, it's going to project down, right? Project those points down onto the other surface. You could do it either way. Um, you could divide that and project them up, but however you want. Basically, what we need are two points to draw a line. So here's that line, right? If I preview that, it's just drawing a line between these points and these points. And then I just pipe that line and put a sphere on the end of it, right? So if I preview that, you'll see the little sphere um, is coming. It's very tiny, but, and then if I preview the pipe, right, you can see that pipe is occurring. And so I'm just gonna unpreview all of this. And then we'll take a look and preview these guys, which gives it a little color, right? So, um, if we take a look at that and I turn off, let me make layer default, and I turn off this layer, you can then see that happening, right? So it's a pretty straightforward process. Um, let me go ahead and I'll disable this guy. Um, you can also do something else, which is this guy. So if I enable this, and you don't have to, but um, if I enable this, it actually is doing it based on um, this image. So it's taking that image and placing it and moving Z coordinates based on the image. So if I go and change the image, <clears throat> so I go get another image. I'll just get a gradient. <clears throat> Maybe get this guy and click OK. It'll now, you see how it's doing it sort of like a circle, right? Or if I double click on it and let's get another one. Um, maybe the triangle, see what that does, right? So now it's, it's sort of lifting it up like that triangle. So you can do different things, um, whatever you want, but here's the two definitions. Um, and we can talk about how to get it into Revit. <clears throat> um, we can actually bake these with different layers and bring them in I think would be the easiest way but that's it